They're glimpses of a golden age, glances from the pages of magazines, images that reveal that moment when Manhattan felt like the center of the world. We've fallen for its fashions and stories too, via TV series like Mad Men, where ad men buried dark realities with bright colors and passionate misadventures. One of the key creators of that acrylic world is the illustrator Matt Connor. With his cat and companion in his Fifth Avenue apartment, Mac is beginning his 102nd year. His only obvious concession to his great age, his deteriorating voice. Can I ask you about New York in the 50s? Yes. A lot of Americans are very nostalgic for the 50s. Yeah, they remember it as this kind of very stylish yes. time when the people were beautiful and the, the martinis ran, you know, freely every night. Is that how you remember it? Well, I participated, but I worked pretty late. I worked maybe until 9, 30 or 10. And then I, I went to see my girlfriend, and we went out to dinner. I went to a club, store club generally. And uh, that was different than today, of course. You know, I remember this very happy days, happy, happy times. Advertising is based on one thing, happiness. Have you ever seen this show, Mad Men? I saw one episode. What did you think? Uh, I liked it. People buy things because it makes them feel better. Mid-century New York City was when people became consumers and advertisers unearthed gold mines in the suburbs. From billboards to illustrations in magazines, commercial artists animated a stylized version of modern life. In real life, Matt Connor says he never felt limited by the form, inspired instead by drawing out the drama in a secretive glance, a turned back, an outstretched hand. I get the sense that you weren't frustrated by having limitations. No, I wasn't. I liked it. I liked the challenge of Put it together. You do you had some freedom, you know, but you still were kept within a certain box. The way Mac Connor speaks about his art is deeply pragmatic. A couple chatting on a fire escape drawn from above feels like a still from some romantic film. But Mac remembers the process, organizing the models, taking photos of fire escapes. I had to line up some models. A couple of bottles. I had to go out and photograph some fire escapes, get some information on them. And uh, all in all, I guess three weeks maybe, from A to Z. Among his commissions that helped to redefine American identity, Matt Connor captured the very thing that redefined and ultimately ended his career in magazines. By the time the 1970s rolled around, it was television that channeled the perfect life. Matt Connor caught the moment the TV set first arrived. You know, they were the beginning of television. And uh, he's the only guy on the floor who had a television. So all of his neighbors were coming in to see the game. Uh, the cop was sitting there with a chair, and everybody was watching. I think it did the job so well. I think it d demonstrated the uh, pioneering of television. Mac says he was never disoriented or wishing he was doing something else. At 101, he's still finding happiness, even within limits. I'm happy uh, these days, in spite of my limitations, my eyes. And, Things are failing in different parts of me, but it doesn't bother me. I can accept all these, because I know I'm going in the hole in the ground eventually. I'm on the way, and on the way, you have to uh, adapt, because you can't beat nature. His work now has its own life, a time capsule of America commodifying a beautiful version of itself hanging now in a new exhibition at the House of Illustration in London.